Up on first edition and in a News 13 update, we previously reported about a family visiting North Myrtle Beach who was disappointed that there is no disability exception to the city's long standing summer beach tent rule. That rule went into effect in 2014 and bans tents from May 15th through September 15th. Our reporting sparked conversation among community members and News 13's Gracie Fusco spoke with a local advocate about his disappointment in the city's rules and the changes he hopes to see for the area. Dr. Jim Berry has been a local disability advocate for many years as his two sons were born with spinal muscular atrophy. After seeing our report, he reached out to the city of North Myrtle Beach offering to help make a change. Dr. Barry says it is very important to be a proactive force in advocating for people with disabilities. He says living in a tourist area makes the cause even more important as everyone has the right to enjoy the beach, but are being held back by a lack of resources to be able to do that. He was very disappointed in the city's lack of response to his emails, sharing his concerns and even offering to help. The city of North Myrtle Beach declined an interview and provided News 13 the same response as last time, which says in part, quote, the city's ordinance regarding shading devices on the beach clearly states the only device allowed is an umbrella. While some may not be fond of our ordinance, we must consider each of these items as well as enforce this ordinance fairly. Really, the city of North Myrtle Beach has failed in its obligation under the Americans with Disability Acts, Title II, which states that when you have an ordinance, in place, that that ordinance doesn't negate the fact that people with disabilities are still given the opportunity to have reasonable accommodations. Dr. Barry wants to see change so everyone who comes to the area feels welcome, seen, and heard. Reporting in North Myrtle Beach, Gracie Fusco, News 13.